the primary objective of our work uh, is to develop novel uh, electrical stimulation protocols that could be applied to metallic orthopedic implants to modulate their electrochemical properties and in turn uh, prevent or eradicate uh, device-related biofilm infections. And the particular approach that we've uh, focused on here is looking at titanium as our representative uh, metal orthopedic implant and a strain of uh, gram-negative Acinetobacter bomani uh, bacteria that is known to be a prominent pathogen in the military healthcare setting. This bacteria uh, is known to be multi-drug resistant. Certain strains will form biofilms. So planktonic bacteria attach onto a surface and once enough of these bacteria aggregate there, they communicate to each other through electrical or chemical cues uh, and then they become encased in an exopolysaccharide structure. And once they take this form here of a mature biofilm, they become very highly resistant to antibiotic therapy. And so our approach is focusing on modulating this interfacial region here to uh, enhance the, the killing or eradication or prevention of this biofilm on titanium implants. And titanium is known to be a very biocompatible material and that's why it's so utilized. And the, this oxide film here is really what gives rise to that biocompatibility. The oxide acts as a barrier to corrosion reactions. And the important thing to point out here is that we can modulate the electrochemical properties across this oxide film by applying negative or cathodic stimulation to that implant. And you can see here, uh, when we apply these negative voltages, we can dramatically change the electrochemical processes that are taking place at that implant site. So our idea is, if we can control the voltage to control these electrochemical properties, what's the influence that that has on the biofilm formation or eradication. And so we took commercially pure titanium coupons and we were forming a biofilm on those coupons. We then extract that coupon and we place it into this uh, ballistics gel chamber to simulate soft tissue coverage of an orthopedic implant. We add a little bit of saline to each of these electrode sites to ensure that there's good conductivity around the entire implant. And then we apply various uh, stimulation magnitudes to that titanium sample. Following a one hour stimulation, we then extract the coupon and we enumerate our CFUs or our colony forming units uh, that are representative of the remaining bacterial biofilm components. And then we also harvest our saline and look at how many bacteria are present in the saline. And so what we found is that there is a voltage dependent killing rate of biofilm bacteria on the titanium. But I think the most compelling results that we have to date are our pilot data showing the synergistic activity between our stimulation protocol and the role of antibiotic therapy. In our control samples, uh, we had a, a high uh, biofilm formation. When we applied just our antibiotic alone to the saline that surrounded the implant, we saw a statistically significant reduction but still there was a lot of bacteria present on the coupon. When we applied stimulation alone with no antibiotics, we had a pretty good kill as we had seen in our previous work as well. But when we added the combination of antibiotics and electrical stimulation, we had a complete eradication of the biofilm on the titanium coupon. And importantly, this synergistic uh, activity has also been shown in the uh, planktonic or our uh, saline CFUs. So it appears as though this combination of electrical stimulation and antibiotics will promote the killing of uh, bacteria both in a biofilm and on uh, and in planktonic form. And so uh, we're particularly excited about, about this because this stimulation approach could be widely uh, employed for most of the orthopedic alloys that are in utilization. Um, Stainless steel could be used, cobalt chromium. All these metals have oxide films that we can control the electrochemical properties of. And so we think that this method could be broadly uh, applied uh, in other settings as well.